How's it going, Kel Kids? Today we are looking at 4.5. It's going to be a quick one because we are just going to look at estimating change with differentials. That's all we're going to be looking at today. We're going to skip the other stuff. It's on the B, C test, but not the A, B test, so we're going to skip it. Gabish. Gabish. Okay. <clears throat> this is your formula, and you know, this is noteworthy stuff. If you have a differentiable function, you probably don't need to write that. The differentiable dx is an independent variable. Okay, uh, dy <clears throat> depends on your dx, and your derivative of y actually equals your deriv your f prime. You plug x in and times it by your differentiable differential, not b. There's no b in there. Differential. Okay. What does that mean, Mr. Twilliger? Or as some students say. Bring on the examples. Well, what this actually means is your change in y equals whatever the current change is at that point, the slope of the change at that point, times your next step, your next change, your differential. <clears throat> Let's take a look at an example. Find the differential d of y and evaluate a dy for given value of x and dx. Okay, <clears throat> y equals x to the fifth plus 2x, right? Oh no, that's my notes. So first I want to find my f prime of x is going to be 5x to the fourth plus 2, right? My dx is 0 0.01 and x equals 1. So my formula dy equals my f prime of x, make sure I'm doing this right, times dx, right? <clears throat> well, my x is 1, right? My dx is 0 0.01. I'm getting this, it was given to us. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to find my f prime of 1. So I'm going to plug 1 into my derivative. So I get 5 times 1 to the 4th, okay, plus 2, so I get 7, right? <clears throat> so my f prime of 1 is 7. I'm going to times that by 0 0.01, that's my dx. I get 0 0.07, and that's my answer. My change in y at that given moment is going to be about 0.07, because that's what dy is. It's what y is doing at that given point, and that's an estimate. Okay. Well, that's the differential, but we're gonna learn that's an estimate. Okay. <clears throat> we got another formula here. The approximate change, noteworthy. Approximate change the value of a function when x changes from a, it's going from a to a plus dx, some change in x. Then your differentiable is f prime of a times dx. Same thing we did before, but now we're using it to estimate a given value. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Here's what's actually going on. So when you look at this graph, right? Here's our a f of a. And we know what the tangent is to it, but we want to estimate what it's changing at that point. So to do that, we take a look at this small change, okay? We, we take a look at what delta f is going to be, what the change in our function is going to be at that given point, and that's going to be f of your a plus dx minus f of a, okay? Now, <clears throat> the smaller this dx is, the more accurate you're going to be. Like if you take a guesstimate and get this point for here, you're wrong because that was a big dx. But if you choose one here on this line, you're going to be pretty close to what the actual value is going to be. And that's what we're looking for. Okay? <clears throat> okay. We have a circle with a radius. Uh, radius is 5. And it's increasing to 
use uh, DA to estimate the increase in the circle's area. Okay, the things we need to keep in mind here is what is circle's area? Well, it's pi r squared. That means a prime is 2 pi r. Well, that's the circumference. Do you guys notice that? Derivative of area gives you circumference? What? I'm sorry. Well, the derivative of volume gives you circumference. Area is Not volume. Area is circumference, guys. It's been a long day. Just bear with it. Okay. So our dr. Now I was thinking, don't freeze. Our dr is what we're changing. So our dr is 5.1 minus 5, which is 0.1. Because we are changing 1, 0.1 on our radius. So now we use our formula. <clears throat> our derivative of a is 2 pi r dr. r dr. A joke. So we plug in our radius. No, don't restart now. We plug in our old radius, right? Times it by our dr from up here. And we plug that in. We get 2 times that is 10. We get pi. That means our area is changing at about pi. At the given moment that our radius is increasing by 0.1. Okay? okay. That's where we're going to end it, guys.